In this Excel tutorial, we're going to look at a common uh, issue that can arise when you're working with Excel data. Uh, here we have a worksheet and we have different sections of data. We have some names, we have some regions, we have some sales. Now, what often will happen is at the end of the month or the week or whenever, you may need to uh, remove the data and input new data. But what happens, we have formulas here. See, here's a formula up here that's calculating these uh, numbers, totaling them up. We have another formula, whoops, here, that's right here, that's calculating these uh, cells here. We have a formula here that's calculating the total of those cells, and we have one there for these cells. So if you wanted to remove the data and enter next month's data or next year's data or whatever it may be, the easiest way to do it is to just click up here between uh, to the left of the of column A and above the one highlight everything and hit delete but what happens is that gets rid of everything gets rid of your formulas gets rid of the names gets rid of everything so we're gonna undo that now there might be two two different things that could happen you may want to get rid of just the numbers or you might want to get rid of the names and the regions as well uh, but in most cases you'll want to leave the formula there because that formula is what gives you your total so I'm going to show you a couple of ways to remove the data but not the formula if you want to remove just the sales numbers for each of the people that data that data there, that data there, and that data there. Again, there's a couple of ways you can do that. The first way is to highlight the first block, just like that. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> highlight the first block. Then you hold down Control, highlight the second block. Keep holding down Control. Highlight the third block, keep holding down control, and highlight the fourth block. So using your control key, CTRL, you highlight the first set of data normally, just clicking and dragging. Now after the first set of data is highlighted, now you press and hold your control key, and then you can highlight the rest. Now you hit delete and there you go all that data is gone but you'll notice your formulas are still there okay so that's one way to do it so we're gonna undo that now that way will also work let's say you wanted to get rid of the names the regions and the sales it's the same thing you highlight the first block now you hold down your control key highlight the second block highlight the third block highlight the fourth block hit delete and there you go it gets rid of everything that you highlighted okay so I'm gonna undo that again and it works just the same if you wanted to get rid of just let's say the names and the sales numbers so you can highlight the first block now you do control highlight that block that block and so on all the way through whoops wrong one Anyway, you would do that block. Sorry, I messed up and did that the wrong block there. I did the numbers instead, or I did the regions instead. Okay, but you get the idea. Just highlighting all of that, and then you hit delete, and it gets rid of everything that you highlighted. Okay? Another way to do it, if you want to get rid of just the numbers, because your salespeople and their regions may be fairly constant. So, what you can do on your keyboard, this is on a PC keyboard by the way, you can hit um, without highlighting anything, just have your worksheet normally, 
what you can do is you can hit the F5 key and it brings up this go to window right here. Now we're going to click on special and we want to select constants and we want to make sure that just numbers is checked off. Okay, so we want to highlight constants and numbers. Now we click OK and you will notice that it has highlighted here all of our numbers. We now hit delete and away go the numbers and you can input your new numbers. Leaves the formulas alone completely. Same idea again. This this has a little bit of a, 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 a downside to it though. This next thing I'm going to show you, F5 again, special, constants, and now if we leave uh, everything highlighted, numbers, text, logicals, and errors, we click OK. See it highlights everything but the formulas. Now the only downside to this is that our headings name, region, and sales, um, they are also highlighted, okay? So if we hit delete now, see the headings get deleted as well. But in most cases, uh, your text can remain constant. So if your text is going to remain constant and only your numbers are going to get removed, then you would do F5, go to special, select constants and numbers only, click OK, there are your numbers highlighted, hit delete, and boom, there you go. And like I said before, if you need to remove just selected data, then what you would do is highlight your first data that you wanted to get rid of, let's say it's the names, then you hold down shift, or sorry, hold down control, and now you highlight the rest of the data that you want to get rid of, hit delete, and there it goes. All the while your formulas are left alone because you don't want your formulas to be wiped out and then have to redo the formulas uh, each time you want to change your data in your worksheet. Alright, so there's a little lesson on how to remove constants in your data but not formulas and that will uh, definitely save you some time and headache if you ever have to do that kind of uh, that kind of change to an Excel worksheet. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, lesson. Thank you for visiting the website and uh, I hope you have a great day.